Want to make sure you never miss a Kindly Kian video again? Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell to turn on notifications. Officer Granny, you are under arrest. This is a citizen's arrest. I don't know what that means exactly, but I'm doing it. I'm arresting you, all right? You have to deal with that. Hello, everybody. I am Kindly Kian, and welcome back to Granny. Now, this is actually an older mod by Dr. Hack. This is the one that turns Granny into a police officer. Or maybe that's what Granny was all along. Maybe that's her day job. Whoa. What if Granny was a cop? That would be terrifying. She could get away with anything. Oh, this is spooky. All right, well, this is one of those mods that we missed when it first came out. So I thought we'd come back to it and try it out. So let's do it. So I'm not sure exactly what version of Granny this was made in. Unfortunately, Dr. Hack doesn't really make mods for Granny anymore. So I think that this was the very first version that had the car in it, but I don't believe you can actually drive the car. I think you can only hide in the car, but I. I, you know, I might be mistaken. I'm not sure if there's a spider in this version. I don't think there is. But regardless, we're going to be checking it out and uh, hopefully not get thrown into prison by Granny. That would be very upsetting. Granny does have a jail cell in her house. Oh, it's all coming together now. She really is a cop. Not to mention she's got handcuffs all over her walls. And also the floor is very clean. Actually, the entire house is incredibly clean. I'm impressed. Granny's been cleaning this place up. Can we talk about this door though? The handle is on that side. But if I open this, oh, there's a police granny on the other side. Hello, officer. Good, good day to you. Um, thank you for for using your. It's a baton. It's like a the stun stick. You know the things that cops have, and it goes. You know, like it like flings out. You know what I'm talking about. That's what Granny has. She doesn't have a bat anymore. She has a stun baton. Okay, that was a terrible experience, but I was too mind flooded by the weird door situation here. Door handle over here. Door opens this way. It's a little weird. Just saying. No, I don't want to play hide and seek police granny. Please stop being weird. Let's hide. Let's continue our. Oh, no. Don't look at me. Don't you dare look at me. Yeah. Yeah. Go down the stairs. That's that's right. You go that way. I'm going to stay over here. This wallpaper is ridiculous. Granny loves being a police officer and you can really tell she is. She's gone all out with her decor for sure. Uh, she also put a bear trap in the wall. That probably not the most effective strategy. Let's see what's going on in here. What do we got? Nothing. A whole lot of nothing. I just creaked. I creaked the floor. She's coming. She's coming after us. We got to keep moving. Just keep moving. <sighs> There's a hammer. Okay. She, police granny is going to be behind us though. I'm scared. I shouldn't have gone for the hammer, but I did because I don't know what's good for me. Oh, there she is. I told you she was going to be right there. Okay. Let's, uh, let's head down to the basement. Let's check out what police granny's basement looks like. All right. In the basement. Let's, uh, whoa. Uh, okay. She's got like stone floors. Uh, let's, let's see what's going on. Is there a, yeah, there is a garage. Okay. Yeah. Here's, here's granny's police vehicle. Can't help but notice that the wording is backwards on the, on the vehicle. Also, she's FBI as well. So she's FBI and police. Granny, you're an overachiever. What can I say? I'm very impressed with your your pedigree here, but you need to back off, lady. See, she's hiding all this nefarious activity under the guise of being a, a officer of the law, but she's actually feeding people to her pet spider in her in her attic. Whoa, this is crazy. Okay, the outside is really cool looking, actually. I like how bright it is. This is neat. How did I miss this mod? This is actually really cool. I like. I like the uh, design of it here. What is going on here? What is that? Why is there like green on this windowsill? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to read into it too much. Oh my gosh, that's such a colorful tunnel. The stonework in here is unbelievable. Granny, you've really gone all out with this house. I just can't believe how clean Granny's police house is. She's really doing a good job of hiding her true identity by being a police officer. Now, like I said, I don't believe that there's a spider in this version. So I think this was the version that introduced the car for the first time, and that was it. That that was the big uh, addition that was with this version. I think this might be version 1.4. I could be wrong though. It would not be the first time. All right, so let's head out. Oh, the meat closet. There's a, uh, okay. I mean, just the normal, normal 
piece of meat hanging from the closet. Still don't quite understand why Granny does that, but it's there in case you were wondering. Let's head into the secret teddy room, see what's going on in here. This is obviously the the police room. You can't really miss it. It's just covered in police. Gotta make sure that you know that Granny's a police officer. It almost feels like she's trying too hard. She's like, I'm a police officer. There's no way that I would ever do anything bad, like feed people to giant spiders. I would never do that. I'm a police officer. Yeah. Yeah. Keep saying that, Granny. The more you say it, the more I believe it. Or do I? Okay, let's head up to the very top. Actually, I'm a little scared. She might be up here. I love the little police people on the walls. Kind of funny. I'm I'm very scared right now. <gasps> that was a noise that I just made and uh, I got punished for it. All right, let's head back to where we wanted to go, which was upstairs. But I do want to get my hammer. What happened to my hammer? Hello? No, where's my hammer? Did it fall down? It may have fallen. I don't know. Right now, I'm not going to worry about it because I got a crazy police officer granny chasing me. It's very upsetting. I really like the look of this, this mod, though. The, the floors are like, they're so nice. Granny's got some great flooring going on in her house now. So as you probably have already noticed, there's no door here. So we can't go up any further into her house. But we do have the jail cell over there. <laughs> it's so weird. Granny has a jail cell in her house. Of course she does. It makes perfect sense. She's a policeman. That's something that all police officers have, right? They just have jail cells inside of their personal homes. Obviously, that makes zero sense, but whatever. I think I'm going to drop down and then uh, I'm going to search for this hammer. I don't know what happened to it, though. Like we got attacked right here. The hammer oh, should be in there. Oh, my gosh. She's going to get us because if I go down the stairs. Yep. I knew it. Also, why are her eyes red? Why? Those... She's got like contacts or something. That's creepy. We got to find the hammer. Like the hammer is one of the most important tools in this game and we've lost it. This is a serious problem. Granny, what did you make me do with the hammer? I thought maybe like I dropped it. I, I, it must have disappeared. I don't know. I think we might have to restart. I mean, we're not doing great anyways. This run has kind of been a disaster from the beginning, but like Granny, what'd you do with my hammer? That hammer was very important to me and you made me lose it. There, have the door. There you go. Go around. I do not see a hammer over here. Hammer? Hello? Is this door locked? This door's probably locked. Oh no. We're done. Do not come in this room, Granny. You just stop right there. All right. I mean, the reality is, is that this is kind of a doomed run. So let's just accept our fate. Officer Granny, thank you for arresting me with with the bat. I know it'd be like super, super hard to do, but it would be really cool if there was an ending in this mod, like a like a failure game over ending where Granny actually puts you in the jail cell. That would be rad. We can emulate that though, maybe. I don't know. I, I, I don't really know what I'm doing at this point. I'm just, I'm looking at the jail cell. Maybe I'll just, okay, I'll do that. Break my legs. There you go. Officer Granny. Officer Granny, can we talk about this, Officer Granny? I feel like, you know, your your supervisor, maybe like your sergeant, would, would probably not approve this. This. Okay. All right. Fine. Rude. Very rude. Let's try again. Day one. I'm still trapped in this crazy old lady police officer's house, and I don't know how to escape. It's a vicious cycle that just never ends. But we're gonna do our best this time. I think uh, I was a little bit more focused on seeing stuff. This time, I'm, I'm gonna be more focused on actually making progress. So I did see that the hammer is up in the closet, so it'll make our lives a little bit easier. I am gonna try to collect all the pieces of the shotgun. Uh, ooh, not too shabby. There's the trigger. So all we have to find is the stock, which is a word that I never used to use until they added a shotgun to this game. Honestly, I think I used to call it the hilt. I learned very quickly that a hilt is for a sword, not a shotgun. Fool. Absolute fool. Can I? Oh, I can't open the car trunk. Okay. So I do still need a car key in order to access the trunk of the car, which can hold stuff that we might need. Let's see if there's anything in the glove compartment. I am a little bit 
worried that granny is going to be coming down here because I am making noise. There she is. Okay. We need to ring around the rosy here. There you go. You go that way. I go this way. Everybody's happy. I'm going up the stairs. I'm leaving now. Goodbye. Take care. Have, have a great day or something. So basically all we're looking for now to complete the gun would be the, the stock. It's not over here. Oh, there's granny though. There's definitely a granny over here. So let's jump through the window. Let's see if there's anything out here. You got anything? Anything? Nothing. Okay. What about in here? Nothing. Shoot. All right. We'll continue our search for the very elusive shotgun hilt. Let's check the basement. Sometimes it's kind of hard to see. That's just a cup. Is there anything hiding around here? Nope. Nothing over here. Um, I think she might be heading down here. Yep. She's definitely heading down here. Oh, she sees us. Okay. I'm going to go around and I'm going to try to get into the tunnel here. Hopefully I have enough time. Ooh, that was probably really close. <laughs> yes. Yes, it was. So I'll tell you what, since we're back over here, why don't we grab the trigger and bring it back down into the garage? All right. Trigger has found its home. Now all we need is the stock. So there's several different options of where it might be. We want to check these cabinets. Nothing there. Okay. Uh, what about this cabinet? Nope, nothing there. Okay, we'll head into the kitchen. This is very scary though. She is she is out and about and she could sneak up behind us. Ooh, the winch handle. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna head outside into the backyard. I'm not gonna spend any more time in the kitchen than I have to. Let's see what's in the well. Now keep in mind, there's only one way out of this house right now. We can't drive the car. The police car has not been fixed. So uh, the only way out is through the front door. We did find a cog. So that's good. We'll just keep that there. All right, I'm going to try something very stupid. I'm going to try to go back into the kitchen. I'm probably going to make noise. Yep. Okay. Immediately creak the floor. Fantastic. Where is she? She's going to come from one. Of the there she is. All right. Uh, any? No, I don't see any gun hilts. Okay. Not hilts. They're, they're stocks. I guess we'll head all the way up to the very top. I don't think there's anything over here. I don't think there can be. She's still chasing us. I'm scared. Whoa, there she is. Okay, let's drop into the bathroom. She's gonna head down here. So we're gonna have to move quick. All right, let's see. Uh, maybe here, nothing. Here, here. Nope, can't open that door. Okay, open this door. Nope, can't. Okay, uh, this and, oh gosh. Officer Granny, it's good to see you again. Okay, so uh, I have no idea where the gun stock is. That's okay. Uh, we at least know where the hammer is. And we know where one of the cog wheels is. Not that that really helps us all that much right now. I guess we can grab the hammer and then we can take that upstairs and that'll give us access to that room that is next to the jail cell. Maybe there's something in there that we can use. I really want the shotgun though. Granny's not a nice lady. I thought police officers were here to serve and protect. I don't feel very served or protected. So Granny went the way that I want to go. So actually, I think what I'm going to do is just make a beeline for the the uh, the attic here, not the attic, the basement and go in through here and then we'll head up and grab the hammer in the closet. Absolutely not. Let's check the Teddy room here real quick. See if there's anything of value in here. I don't think there is. Nope, nothing. Okay, so here's what we came for. We want the hammer. We also want to get upstairs. So this is kind of scary because I don't know where she is right now. And we are making lots of noise. I think I'm just going to head straight for this room. We'll grab this. We'll put the plank down and then we will hide because we made so much noise. She's not coming. I don't. Granny? Hello? No granny. Okay, Officer Granny got called to a different scene, I guess. So uh, we'll take advantage of that. Let's see. Ooh, car key. Don't mind if I do. Let's uh, get across here. Go ahead and do that. That'll get her real distracted. Uh, that is the padlock key. So we're definitely going to need that, but we have to get the cutting pliers. So I guess I'm just going to put myself in jail here. Granny's prison cell. But luckily for me, I'm so sneaky and I know how to get out of, of prison. Why do I know how to get out of prison? How did I learn that skill? I don't know. Okay, so Granny's heading around. Let's just sneak the other way. I love doing that little maneuver. I also don't love stepping into bear traps, so let's not do that. We're heading all the way down. I did see that Granny caught on to our little sneaky move there, so she's still chasing us, but we should have enough time to grab the watermelon. 
out of the trunk of a police car. Makes perfect sense. That's where I keep my watermelons, trunk of my car. All right, let's find out what's inside of this watermelon. What do you got for me? That is the weapon key. Okay, I mean, it kind of makes our quest for finding the shotgun stock a, a bit of a, a bit of an obsolete task. So I guess, I guess I'll just use the weapon key and grab the tranquilizer darts. It will make our lives like 2000% easier. Even Officer Granny isn't immune to tranquilizer darts. We gotta hurry though. Please grab the crossbow, grab the trank darts. All right, she's probably gonna head this way. Yep, there she is. It's nighttime. Good night, my friend. Sweet dreams, Officer Granny. Grab this trank dart. Let's uh, let's get the screwdriver. I forget how long she sleeps. It literally just said it on the screen, but I wasn't looking. Whoops, that's okay. We'll make this work. So we grab the screwdriver. There we go. Remember, the crossbow is in the kitchen. So if we want to protect ourselves, we got to get back to the kitchen, grab the crossbow, rearm it with the tranquilizer dart, all that fun stuff. But first, let's see what's in here. The safe key, don't mind if I do. So what do police officers hide in safes? We're about to find out. They hide cutting pliers in safes, of course. Again, it, it makes perfect sense if you don't think about it too hard. So we're gonna go ahead and do all this fun stuff and I am gonna go make a risky move because Granny is probably gonna wake up at any moment, but I'm heading all the way to the jail cell so that I can grab the padlock key. She's awake. She is definitely awake. I am scared. I'm gonna throw this down the hole. There we go. I'm not sure where she is right now, but I do want her to come up here so that I can run back downstairs, grab the tranquilizer darts and try to get her again. Okay, let's go for it. We made our move. It's a very effective maneuver. No, 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 no. Go faster. Go. I thought I went around the bear trap. I clearly did not go around the bear trap. I stepped right into the bear trap. Don't step into bear traps. It's a valuable lesson. I need my crossbow, keeps me safe and warm at night. Okay, tranquilizer darts. Okay, there she is. Shoot her. Whoa, I thought I was gonna miss that shot. Okay, uh, what do we need? We Oh, I think all we need is, no, we still need the master key. I was gonna say all we need is the hammer to remove the planks from the door, but there's actually a little bit more than that. I'm gonna try to get this thing to fall down. Oh, is it? It's like hanging. It's just hanging there. No, that is so not what I want you to do, please. Please. Okay. Okay, good, good. Now grab the hammer. Let's go back downstairs. Okay, we'll do this. Get that taken care of. We'll do this. Get that taken care of. We do need to find the number code. I don't think it's in here. Okay. I am gonna grab my crossbow again. Once again, it keeps me warm and cozy at night. I don't know where the tranquilizer dart went. Oh, it's all the way over here. Thank goodness I found it. Oh, she's awake. She's awake. I hear her make a noise, but I don't know where she is. She's up there. Okay, we'll just wait for her. We'll just wait. Officer Granny, you are under arrest. This is a citizen's arrest. I don't know what that means exactly, but I'm doing it. I'm arresting you, all right? You have to deal with that. Okay, uh, let's leave the crossbow down here. Let's go into the bathroom. I don't think we've really explored bathroom. Okay, there's a cog wheel. Anything in the toilet? No, nothing in the toilet. What about in here? Sometimes the, uh, the number code is in here. It is not. Okay, that's scary. I don't know where it is. Also, I don't know where the playhouse key is. Did we check all of these cabinets? I think we did. We did a thorough investigation. Oh, the code. Okay, I'll take that. Okay, so the only thing left to do is to get into the playhouse. We need the playhouse key. I don't know where the playhouse key can be. Did we check these drawers? No, obviously we did not. Okay. That makes things easy. Oh my gosh, Granny, you're awake again. Hi, let's get out of here. So it's pretty much guaranteed that the master key is gonna be inside the playhouse. So this is the final stretch. We can finally escape Officer Granny after she kept us in her jail cell for so long. There's one of our cog wheels. Let's take this guy back. Now, Granny is probably gonna wake up before we finish this entire process. So getting to the front door is gonna be a little bit tricky. We're gonna have to play it cool. There we go. Master key, that's what we needed. All right, let's get her attention. I want her to come out here, assuming she's awake. I'm pretty sure she's gonna be awake now. 
There she is. Oh my gosh. She came way faster than I expected. She blasted through that door. I thought normally she has to unlock the door. No, not this time. Officer Granny's got amazing key unlocking skills or something. I don't know. But we escaped. We managed to get away from Officer Granny. She's in her, her weird stun baton. Well done, team. We've done it. Ugh. That face. It's not pleasant. But there you have it, guys. A little blast from the past. Checking out an older mod, but still plenty of fun. I like the way it looked. I, I like the way that her floors looked in particular. Very clean, spick and span. But we know that it's all just a ruse. It's all part of Granny, Officer Granny's design to keep her innocent. But we know what she's really up to. Locking people up in her jail cell inside of her house. What a weird lady. But anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. And of course, if you'd like to see more, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on that little circle with my logo in it right below this window. You can also watch more of my videos by clicking on the sides of the screen. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys next time.